Hello YouTube, it's Captain Dave in the Wolf Den one more time. And what we're going to look at today is something a little different than you usually find on this channel full of sport fishing videos, how-to, tackle reviews. Uh, we're going, well I have, I have discussed over the years here a little bit, knives. This knife right here was provided to me uh, by LC or LSC and that is down in Apollo Beach Florida Life Saving Systems Corporation I was kind of intrigued by this a life saving knife rescue and survival knife unbreakable will never rust when it comes to will never rust, uh, that means you will never sharpen. But I was told this is not for anything but rescue and survival. This company sells life-saving systems. Uh, they sell stuff to the Navy and the Coasties. On this package is a sure grip plastic handled handle with lanyard hull. Four inch titanium blade maintenance free. Line cutter. Safety blunt tip. Razor sharp blade. Serrated edges. Rubber belt sheath with safety retainer. Alright, let's take a look at this thing. There you go. It's rather small big time belt loops. This is the safety retainer. Pretty simple idea, right? So what this is, is a go on your life preserver, go in your ditch bag on your boat if you're a um, traveler and you've got a ditch bag or, uh, you know, with your e in it, your food, uh, you know, for when you're going down that's you can put in your light uh life raft it's very rubbery and here's the blade so what do you got here you've got serrations serrations there's the line cutter blunt tip Ooh, razor sharp. Razor sharp. It's sharp, but... Yeah, it'll cut some hair. And you got a very... Can you hear that? Very plasticky handle. With an... It says lanyard hole? Them holes don't look like they go all the way through right there. So we're going to do some testing of this here and we're going to do a little comparisons so stick with me we're going to test out the life saving systems corporation rescue and survival knife Sure grip plastic handle with lanyard hull. I'm not seeing no lanyard hull here. I don't know if this would be a full tang. I have no earthly idea until I break it. Uh, it says on the box here, um, where was it? Compact, lightweight, which it is very light, snag resistant. Because you're going to have this, say if you're a rescue person, you're going to have this on your body, on your, on your life vest, uh, something like that. And it want, you want it to be snag free, but maybe you do want to lanyard on it. It says right there, will never rust unbreakable. Because this blade is made out of titanium. And uh, titanium is very, 
very hard. So here is an example of my big Dexter Russell uh, three-way sharpening uh, ceramic bars. Okay, for this is like big fillet knives, butcher knives, stuff like that. And you can draw it across even just something like this. And you can feel what this blade feels like compared to regular steel. It's really hard. Okay. Then you go, you're never going to do anything with it. Here's my Spyderco uh, triangle sharp maker that I use for everything. You're probably not going to sharpen it with this either. I was told if you want to sharpen it, send it back to the factory. Mm, I don't know about that. I don't know. I guess if you're in the Coast Guard or something, maybe. So let's put this back in here. Um, the sheath is quite clever. This is really nice. Okay. I can definitely see this being in a life raft in your ditch bag if you're, you know, an ocean traveler. Survival, we'll have to see. Uh, let's just to put it through some quick and dirty tasks right here in the wolf den. This is my big spool right here of basically what I refer to as 80 pound mason hard type nylon. This is what I make my strong arm rigs out of. And let's just check the blade. This is some tough stuff. Okay, cut that pretty good. We got the serrations front and back here. So that would be lined because this could also do very double duty as a dive knife. That's what I basically put this in the category of. This is a almost like a dive knife. Well, that was a little tough. How about this line cutter doohickey here? These line cutter things are usually not that sharp for the sheer fact that they... Okay. Ugh. Man, that ain't too... That ain't too wifty. Here's a nylon strap. Pretty thick. You can see. It's about twice as thick as this blade. Oh, hey man, that cut it pretty good. How about the serrations? Let's try the backside serrations here. All right. I did it. All right. Here's just some real cheap lanyard neck, uh, kind of cottony feeling stuff. Mm, that cut that pretty good. Okay, here's like a strip of Velcro. There's the fuzzy side. Pretty good. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, here we go. Here's a rubber strap. All right, let's see how it cuts some rubber. Well, uh, is this side? No, that side's blunt. So let's cut. Here's, here's sort of a problem I see. There's no place to put your finger up here. Okay. I mean, you go to... You got this. You don't have much of this with your finger okay I don't know how necessary I guess it was to put serrations on both sides they could have put uh, just this foil down here and this would have been flat maybe with some jimping I don't know but what do I know about designing I don't know anything about designing uh, survival knives right okay so that cut the rubber pretty good all right, here's a little thicker nylon. Let's see how it does. Pretty good, but are you get when you're in the water, are you going to have something to back this up with? Or are you just going to be hacking? You're in the water. Ugh, I don't want to cut that. 
okay. All right, well, I cut it. So that worked. Let's see how good it does. That is one. That's kind of nylon. Two of Cordura. Three, four. Let's see how good it does to almost four, five of Cordura. And it's having a bit of a trouble. It's having a little trouble, folks. But how about if that was on a person? You know what I mean? And you had to go in like this. That type of situation. All right, well, that ain't working. So let's test it against Dave's personal survival knife. Let's check it against the Spider Go Rescue and Emergency Knife. Yes. Now, this is a $50 item with the sheath. 50 bucks on Amazon. It's titanium blade. All right. And then, of course, this is Japanese, I think, VG-10. This is a Spyderco Rescue and Emergency Knife. Let's see. The simplest thing, fishing line. That's what divers are always talking about, right? Okay, piece of cake. Okay. Let's try getting it doing... The, uh, I don't have enough nylon here to hold it. Let's try this. Whoa, like butter, folks. Okay, let's try this. This is over 100. Okay, we're in the laboratory now. It's called My Back Porch. On an old table. Let's pretend I got this on my life vest. I'm drifting around in the ocean. I'm on my life raft. It's in my ditch bag. And all of a sudden, I come up on a deserted island. I need to make, you know, some uh, items to survive. So, I got to really put this thing through the test. That's what I'm sort of basing this on. Cutting, prying, all kinds of good stuff. So let's just see. I'm just doing a few little tests, and we'll see what it goes. This is some pretty tough stuff right here. It's old cast net rope. All right, it cuts it. All right, let's take a, a stab at the serrades, serrades here. Okay, I'm in the water. I got this wrapped around me. I got it on my leg. I got to get it off. Well, that wasn't too easy. This is some uh, 1400 PSI air tubing. So let's see. <sighs> Come on now. And that's... That's sitting here. Let's pretend I'm in the water. You know? I'm in the water. And I got this wrapped around my leg. Oh my gosh, I'm holding my breath underwater. And I gotta cut it. I have nothing to put it up against. Uh, come on. Oh, geez, I'm about to drown. Oh, man, this is terrible. I'm about to drown, folks. Oh, okay. How about just some regular <clears throat> three-stranded nylon rope? Let's give that a shot. Three-stranded nylon rope, okay. Can it do it again? Can it do it again? 
how's the serrated do? I gotta move these other test products here out of the way. Oh my gosh, I got this. This is all wrapped around my my scuba tank. Come on. Time is of the essence. This isn't doing too well, folks. I don't know how the... Well, the blade... This part. Let's see again. See, I don't... You, if you're floating in the water and you're doing a water rescue or something, you know, you're going to have maybe this to be able to grab... Maybe. Maybe. There's an orange. I'm on a deserted island and I need to do some food prep. Wow. Cuts my orange is good. Right off my orange tree right back there. I'll show it to you. It's right there. Right there. And right there. I mean, it's still sharp, but it's not sharp, sharp. Okay, I'm on a deserted island. And I'm finding a walnut tree. Well, this isn't a walnut. These are hickory nuts. And I'm trying to open this up because I'm starving to death. All right. Get the starving to death. I'm sitting on the beach. I'm waiting for that Coast Guard helicopter to find me. All it did was take off the husk. I think my Mora Eldris can do that. Alright, so what else do we got here? Well, let's see. I need some kindling. I need some kindling. I'm going to start a fire. This is just a branch that fell out of the tree last night. See how soft it is? It's very soft wood. Gotta make some kindling. Need something to start a fire with out here on the deserted island. I guess I can use this if I was Mr. Bushcraft and I had my fire steel with me. And then... As the bushy crafters say, oh man, I would get this all together here and I would get my fire steel and that's probably not sharp enough. Maybe this is and I would start it. Well, I don't see none of that happening. Here's a test from hell, folks, right here. Seasoned bamboo. Let's see, you can't push on here. Can't push on here. I guess you could push right here. Okay, but it's not, thank God it's not rusty. Can I cut some wood? This is working out pretty good. This is probably better for the wood than it is for rope. That's what I'm saying right now. Yeah, this is better for wood than it is for anything else that I've seen so far. All right, well, there you go. That's... Seriously, seriously seasoned bamboo. But, I wonder how this compares to my simple EDC. Now, I was told this definitely is not an EDC. It's a survival rescue knife. Oh, yeah, baby. Mm. Oh, yeah. Comparatively. Now, this is just a little EDC knife for me. I'd say it's doing great. You can't beat. Oh man, it just eats this up. All right. 
<laughs> All right. We won't go there. Okay, we're going to do the dreaded tip test. You were wondering what these screwed together 4x4s are all about, huh? This handle is not all that comfortable. Let me tilt the camera up here a little, folks. Not for stabbing. This hits you right here, big time. There's this hard, hard plastic. I know why they use this. I know why they're using it because it's extremely a light plastic. So I learned a lot of this technique of just trying to destroy a knife off of a channel called we all juggle knives now this isn't really made for this because it doesn't even have a tip it's blunt as hell man is that uncomfortable when you come to stabbing man seriously uncomfortable Wow, I was really torquing on that, and it's not bent. Look at me torquing on that. Well, it's bent now, folks. Well, it's kind of easily straightened. All right, well, let's go put this on a life vest, because that's what it's really made to do. Okay, there's no blade left there. There's no blade left at all. Well, this is how it's supposed to be worn. This is a Revere Work Vest PFD, personal flotation device. Here's where you can mount things. I put it on here with just a zip tie. I guess I would take it pretty much and I'm sure, you know, if you're the Coast Guard, you've got a different type vest, but I'm a work, let's say I'm just a working Joe, and I'm near the water. I'm working on a dredge out in the St. John's River, let's say. And I need, just in case, would I go with this? Hmm, I don't know. What is it, a one-time use good deal? Um... It's only about $50.50 on Amazon. Let me flip this back, pull it out. It's still sharp. It's not big enough or uh, it's just not aggressive enough. And I mean, maybe, uh, you know, I'll be, I'll be told that I was probably looking at it in the wrong way. But I'm thinking for your average guy, now getting this back in here. Okay, this is a trick. Okay. To put this in your ditch bag when you're traveling in your trawler, your sailboat. Um, maybe this would be good for, you know, a uh, scuba diver, as long as they're not fishing. Because if you were fishing and you're uh, like a, uh, a spear fisherman, you're going to want a point on there where you can dispatch a fish. The handle is really uncomfortable. Really uncomfortable handle. Is there probably other knives out there that would do a better job? Yeah, probably. I think that was a pretty good test that I just did. I think all the um, all the eggs were put in the titanium basket. Although, look at that blade. I bent it, and I bent it right back. Would I rather go to a real 
like more of a high dollar rescue knife. Yeah. Yeah, I probably would, but I'm going to spend a lot more. I'm going to spend a lot more. And um, I can show you a little bit about this. Let's see. This one even has the whistle. So, and then let me show you the rope cutting ability of this. Would I spend more? Yeah. But, it's all up to you. Now, would I take a spider co like this and stick it in there? Well, no, because it's a folder. But, let me just show you sort of just the difference of what you're getting. Okay, you're getting the lock back here. It's not a liner lock. That is a whole lot better lock. I can't remember what they call it. So, we're going to try something here. Alright. I believe you can do this. I did it once before. Put your fingers around there. Got the rope in there. Bam. There you go, folks. That is pretty handy when it comes to, let's say, rescuing. Let's see how big it can go up to. Do you think it can do that? Three-stranded nylon, like dock line. All right. Let's see. I want this test to be 100% fair here. Wow. All right. I think this test is concluded. Now, I was a little tough. I was a little tough on the titanium. Because I wanted to see how the titanium, titanium held up. I think it might have an orange. Now that's got a little bit of blade right there. Now I got this all over my... I carry this every day. Everywhere I go, I carry this. Because you never know. Especially on my boat with customers. Let's go back in the wolf den. Alrighty folks, back in the wolf den. And uh, I just want to conclude that this is this survival and rescue knife the basic survival tool well it's basic that's for sure and if it's a one-time good deal usage uh, yeah you're you're probably on that but I'm thinking survival I'm thinking I'm out in the water yeah, this uh, titanium blade, that's what got me interested in it in the first place. There's, there's knives out there that probably do a survival and rescue task maybe a little better. But you got to grade everything into what it is. It's light. It don't weigh damn near anything. I don't have a scale, so I can't weigh it. This sheath is pretty cool. It's very rubbery. It's not hard plastic like a Mora or something like that. Um, the retention, of course, is going to be uh, oh so perfect. It can't go nowhere. The handle I find for long tasks, it's very uncomfortable. Uh, what we're looking at here is... I mean, would you want to spend a little more? Would you like to... You could do a lot of what this does with um, other dive knives. Now, they supposedly changed this. It used to be a stainless steel. I mean, this would probably be, like, really cool if you could sharpen it 
if you could do something more with it, if it was longer. I'm sort of grading everything on this Spyderco. Okay, I mean, it's just a folder, right? I'm kind of grading everything up against that. And I know this is much more than this. And I'm sort of grading everything on the Spyderco enough salt because this is what I have to look at. All right, really get into some power here. Everything's about power, you know. So, I don't know. If I was in the Coast Guard and I was rescuing people, I mean, see this? It's made for going up and under things. Up and under things, right? Uh, kind of, I don't know, up and under things, I guess. But either way, it's an educational ob observation. I have never used this. It's only out of the package to show and to take pictures of. But this is on eBay right now for the cheapest price that you'll ever get on any Spyderco Enough H1 Never, Ste Never Rust Sakai City Japan Serrated Blade Dive Slash Rescue type knife do your homework check this thing out um, it's I kind of went a little overboard this here this is a rescue and emergency knife this is really all I need but those two knives got me interested in this and I just wanted to show it all to you so there you go make up your own minds make up your own decision of what you think and thanks for watching i know this ain't fishing but i'm a very interested in knives kind of guy so i figured i'd throw this out there for more than just my subscribers but for everybody